What's up you guys, my name is Impulse, and today I'm going to be doing another Let's Talk Black Ops 3. And this one, I just want to talk about some of the new stuff that has come out and things I've heard. And one thing I've heard is that there's no campaign, or I'm not sure if this is confirmed actually. It might be confirmed. I'm I'm like 65-70% sure this is confirmed that there's no campaign on the older consoles because uh, like old as in the 360 and the PlayStation 3 because it just can't handle it and stuff and I think this is a good thing actually because if you have uh, five consoles that you can play COD on like the PS4, uh, PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360 and PC then there's less people to connect to so if they keep making the differences between the old console and the new consoles larger there's more differences then it's gonna make make more people buy the new consoles, which I understand like people might not have the, like the money, but it's gonna like convince people to like, get it, which is good for like connection and all that. And there's more people to connect to, then they're more likely to connect someone that's closer to you, and you have better connection, less lag, and all that. So solely for that reason, just like if there's only three consoles to play on, then more people will there will be better connection. That's just the base of it. Anyways, next on to our next thing. Call of Duty's having like its own league. It's, there's not going to be a third party competitive uh, organization thing that runs like competitive. It, uh, Call of Duty's going to have its own thing and its like, own prizes and it's going to be run by Activision, I think. So I think that will be good because, I don't know, it'll grow the community and it makes it seem more official, even though it was already pretty official. But I don't know, it just makes it even more intense. And I don't know. And there's even, I guess the third parties will still third party like competitive competitions will still go on so they'll just make more competitions in a year making it even bigger and better and also another thing I think is cool is they added the game the mercenary game modes back and mercenary game modes are like when you just play by yourself and you can't have a party which I think will be good I've never actually like played it like I've joined a game before but I never actually got into like playing mercenary I've never like wanted to play mercenary but I think in Black Ops 3 I might start doing that because I won't always be playing with uh, people. I used to always play with people, but with, in Advanced Warfare I stopped playing with people all the time now. So I'm playing by myself. I might start playing Mercenary because like Ghost, like everybody was in a party. And if Black Ops 3 is like that, then I will play Mercenary and I'm by myself. So I think that's nice. Also, another thing that uh, this kind of goes with the no campaign thing. Should have talked about this earlier. But uh, the no... It's, there won't be stat transfers from the old console to the new console. On Advanced Warfare and Ghost, if you had the old console and then you upgraded to the next gen, your stats and levels and everything would transfer over. But now the 360 and the PS3 stats won't transfer over, which I think is also a good thing uh, for the same reasons that I said for the <clears throat> for the old consoles not having the campaign. And this also sort of applies to zombies. I'm not sure if like what stats or would be to transfer over. There hasn't been much information on that, but I guess that applies to zombies too. And that was all on the multiplayer and like campaign, but now onto the zombie stuff. I think the gumballs are cool. I've uh, seen some lists of stuff that they do, and it doesn't seem like it's gonna ruin the game. It just kind of like adds an extra little like layer to zombies, if that makes sense makes it a little bit more interesting but keeping it simple like it's just like a little quick perk it's not like a it's gumballs i guess you can think of it as like a temporary perk which i don't know i think those would be pretty cool and they some of them actually make it so you can have like a fourth perk for like three minutes or something like that i i don't know i don't remember all of them there's a ton of them i don't know but uh there's also like just seems to be more content in zombies but still keeping it simple they're they're just making it so the zombies' life will last longer. And what I mean by that is, like, how long you can play zombies without getting bored of it. But anyways, that's all I have to talk about Black Ops 3 today. There might be another Let's Talk Black Ops 3 before the game comes out because it's still a month away. So we'll probably learn a lot of information within this next month. I'm not sure. But anyways, if you enjoyed, then like and subscribe. My name's Impulse, and I'm out.